Right, we're recording again. Mass Discussion Podcast. Fuck, you know. Massive.com. I was literally talking to Josh about um, Welsh lockdown. And now it's not, it's no longer, no longer in lockdown life. I know it's magical, bro. It's like I get to go to the gym and I get to, I get to go for a walk. I get to go to the shop. I get to sit in a restaurant if I want, but I don't eat out. So fuck it. Was, um, is there lots of British people in the gym? English. Sorry. British people. English. You know what I meant. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't walk around the gym going, yo, dude, where are you from? No, but you just walk I just... there and you can hear the voices. You're like, he's not from around there. He's definitely just swinging over the border. <laughs> no, I mean, I've noticed that, I noticed there's a couple of people that like I, I've never seen before. Mm. Um, and I did have a, I had a posing client come down on Friday, came down from England and he came down and while he was here, he trained in the gym as well. But not really, man. I mean, I think like Bridgend is not exactly on the, on like the border. Okay. There's places that are closer to England. Yeah. So yeah, they're yeah. probably not going to come here and they probably go to Cardiff if, if anything. Yeah. Well, Bridget, you uh, train at K2. Yeah, I train at K2, yeah. Yeah. K2, that sounds like a kickboxing thing. I mean, when I was in Chester, well, when Chanel was in Chester, I'll go up there. Like, I've already said this, it borders, like, half of Chester's in Wales. You can walk mm -hmm. into Wales, you can walk back in, like, you can keep walking back and forth, and there's no reason to stop you going into Wrexham and just going into the, into the gyms. You're literally, like, mm. you might be 10 minutes down the road. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot of... Bollocks though, isn't it? Like, seriously. Like, you can can't really force that, can they? Oh, well, my gym's in Wales anyway, so go in there. You well, mate, you could, drive, you could drive across and I'm sure no one would tell you any, say anything. You wouldn't even know. Are you, seeing, are you seeing some of the stuff on social media, the police? Like, oh, uh, what's uh, what's on Facebook? Yeah, it's fucking outrageous. Somebody I know, um, obviously the owner of Rip Gym, I know them quite well because that's my first gym. So Michelle got arrested outside Ripped. Then they went up to Liverpool and Damien, who I've known for a long time, nice guy, solid. Apparently, because he had a warning from the police, he weren't walking away from them fast enough and like 15, 20 of them attacked him. It was on video. What? Yeah, man, it's, it's what like the brutal. Fuck? It's brutal, man. There was a, there was a lad who got his, his head kicked in as well. He had, they, the guy who hit him with a bat on, do you see it? Yeah. That's yeah, mental, man. Mate. Police officers getting charged for that. But you watch the video, it is fucking thug. It's just brutal. Yeah, I mean, I'd like, I'd like to make it clear. Of course, not every police officer is like that at all. It's, no. it, it, it is a minority. But I was talking to my partner this morning, and I don't know whether it's the stance the police are taking or the stance the government have ordered the police to take. Mm. Yeah. It, uh, mm. I don't know. I don't know, mate. What, it's what all I fucked up, people. really, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It was short I'm not impressed. How's, how's your legs, Dan? Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, I, I did cardio about an hour ago. Yeah, it was a bit... Uh, you got some blood moving in. Yeah. My hammy... Yeah, you boys train. Tender. The hammy was tender. My hammy cramped. It was tender this morning, right? But I didn't know my quads. I was like, my quads aren't too bad. I had no knee pain. I was really happy. When as soon as I had to go down the stairs of the flat, I was like... Fuck, each thud was the worst. The climbing up and it, it just reminded me of lunges. I was like, holy shit. I was like, my quads are actually fucked. I'm fuck. so gutted I missed that session. Like, what the fuck? It was quite like, it was just, it was quite, uh, it was a couple of days before, wasn't it? Wasn't it, Dan? Say again? It was a couple of days before. I was like, what are you training on that day? I was like, what are you training? We're both training legs. Oh, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> That's pretty much what it was like. Next time you have to drop your mat, I'll fucking drive over. I don't give a fuck about lockdown. What are you talking yeah. about? Lockdown's not happening. We're in a different we're in a different time zone to people. We're in the level. I will today. Fuck, I'll Be travel nasty. across the country. I'll no travel one, across the globe to train with you boys. No one knows. No one knows what time that was from. It was good shit. But uh, are we gonna get stuck in some questions, Dan? You got some questions yeah, you wanna I'll, get out? As I said, I think like if we just make this another forty minute podcast and dedicate it to a QA. Let's go. Let's go and ask you a question. I'll give you an answer. I've got a question. Go on. You ready? Go on. Yeah. This is epic, right? This is really random, but this is what I was thinking of the car when Chanel was driving, right? Listen, why is it that royal people are called like King Edward? Like that's their first name, right? 
Do you know what the Queen's second name is? Because I don't have a fucking clue. It's really weird. Why is it like that? But yet you'll be called like Dr. Gould or Mr. Gould. I won't be called like Dr. Josh. See what I mean? You'd be like... Wait, you're talking about the Windsors. I'm... Well, is that... I mean, you know, you, you, you know more than me. I'm talking about royal people. No, 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 no. That's common knowledge. It, that's not common knowledge. I, Fuck off. I, Listen, I, I, why, I, is he, why is it Henry VIII, right? Why is it Henry? Why isn't it like John Bishop, Bishop VIII? You know what I mean? Because it's like Lady Gaga. Like you, it's like they've got one name, like Messi. Like you is don't it? need to know it's Leo Messi. You Fuck just say Messi. It's got one name. So you telling me that the royals are all just they're just one family? Is that it? They're just not a whole bunch of people. No, mate, it's bloodline. Oh, mate, that just makes it sound weird now. <laughs> it sounds stupid. I was thinking about, I've been thinking about this. Archie now is like fucking out, and she obviously now don't know. And I'm like, oh, we should God. name we should name this podcast episode blah blah <laughs> into the mind of a ginger. Yeah, but like this is the shit that's going through my head. I was thinking it really deep. I didn't know that. But why? Why is it fucking? Why aren't they called then uh, Queen Win- Windsor then? Hey, eh? I, I honestly think that leg session yesterday did something to you. No, it Since didn't. Oh, this is thing. This has been going on for a couple of days, Dan. Mate, I was thinking about it in my head. Okay. Well, mate, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm glad you sorted that for me. So that's the first question, right? That's sorted. I'm on a different level now. I'm, I'm next. I'm ready to get huge. Great, we've, we've established this. <laughs> I didn't even know! Fucking hell, the Windsors. I should have known that, man. I didn't even do history. I'll just drink my cherry Coke. Look at this, cherry, du- cherry Coke Zero. Huh? It's Christmas have tried, time. Have you tried the protein ice cream I showed you yet? Me? Yeah. No. Oh. No, I haven't know. You're, you're complaining you're hungry. I'm just saying. Dieting. I'm, I'm, but no, I'm, I'm like... The only reason I was like, oh, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm just saying, like, by the way, I'm going to eat my, I'm eat my meals quick, and I'm getting hungry and that's because uh, I looked at your guys' food and I was like, these guys are fucking pounding it in, like they're like, full blown off season meals, and I'm like, I, I well, Ant was especially, and I was like, fucking hell, he's eating five rice cakes, big bowl of core, fucking berries, fucking whey. I was like, this looks good. And there's me looking at my cream, my, my fucking whey, seventy grams of of. Uh, ground rice and banana and I looked at it and then I looked at you guys and then I ate it then you looked at me again you're like what happened to your meal like, that's it well, you guys yeah. are like oh Amp, Amp isn't dieting for one he is pushing up yeah I, I am dieting but I'm still I don't know I'm, my body requires a lot of food so it's still like that you yeah. missed the sushi last night as well that was really good what I had sushi last night as well I had sushi <laughs> the rest of it no, no, from the night before. So. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. From the night before, yeah. So, I mean, I was, my body still requires a lot of calories, but it's just time, mate. It's time. Like, with time, you gain more muscle than oh, your body. Oh, for sure. Can... Sure, man. Yeah, go on. Let's get these questions going. Let's actually get some let's ask right. viewer questions. This is a good one uh, because I saw it yesterday. Give opinions on each other's physiques because I actually saw you in person. Opinions? Uh, yeah. You mean okay, like what like views? Like what do I what what do I think of your physiques? I I'll say what uh, yeah, I'll say what I what I saw of Josh yesterday. Okay. I shoot. was really surprised. Josh looks a lot better in person than he does in pictures. Everyone says it's, that um, you're um you, and it's bullshit. You're a lot taller than you think you are. You're you are, I'm telling you, I've got a, like I've got a slight advantage on you a little bit, but you are a lot taller than you say you are. Um, you, your shape is lovely. Your uh, your your legs are full. Your waist is small. Um, I think your top line needs to come up. Your top okay. line, if your top line comes up, it just makes the illusion even more dramatic because you've got a small waist. I can't see your waist ever getting distended. The way the way it's put together, it just doesn't look like you've genetically got it in you to get a distended gut or get a thick waist if you did you really tried to in my opinion you really you really tried um what else your back uh obviously 
everywhere you need more mass. We know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. yeah, we know this. It's common knowledge. But your back, you've got all the insertions to have a fucking good back. Oh, cheers, Dan. It's nice. The potential, the potential there. Like, we, we pose together, and you have pretty much nearly the same insertion points as me. Just that I'm fucking about 50 shades of white. 50 shades of white, yeah. Fucking hell, you should have seen how pale I was compared to him, mate. <laughs> it's embarrassing. But no, no, no. Um, well, I, I, I knew that you were a big guy, Dan. So I knew that I knew that you're big, but like, you know when you see someone in person and they're just like, yeah, he's a big unit. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, I, I don't think, uh, I, I said this with Amp as well, Amp's the same. Doesn't cr- come across in pictures. With you don't take many photos near though. Like you don't take like the full, like in, you know, like in the gym photos. Like I was taking, you don't take any of them. I tell you, who did who I knew Anth was big. He wasn't as tall as I thought he was. But I tell you what, the the, the thickness of Anth really threw like his quads. Fucking nuts! Like through those, he was wearing baggy tracksuit bottoms. And his quads were like were fucking juicy. Like he was just he was just sitting down or he was just standing up and you could just see his fucking upper legs so thick. When he was, I was um, like, when, shit. He was when he was doing line hand curls, I pointed it out to you, I just said, Look at that shit down there. Look at that, yeah. Like, you can see, there's no gaps at all. Like his hamstrings, everything just so round. So cool to see. Reminds me of like Josh's legs. Like that well, no, sort of wow well, factor. Totally, the depth of them, yes, but Josh has got a more pleasing shape to his legs. But saying that, I don't know because Amp isn't lean right now. Yeah, well, yeah. If he's lean, his shape comes in, but Josh seems to have his legs shaped just the same, like all year round. All year round. I think my le- I think my legs are smaller than than they than they look. Uh, I just think I mean, like the insertions and the sweep and. Like the illusion of them is is more than the actual like size of them. Do you know what I mean? Mate, mate, if they if they look big, they are big because that's all that bodybuilding. That's all that matters in bodybuilding. They look. Yeah. No. True. I I, yeah. I agree. I agree. No. It's very interesting to see your views on each other. That's very. No, no. But like, I think I feel like we all we all know each other's. We all know we all know ourselves are our weak our weak points. Where we, we, what we all need to work on. Yeah. And I feel like we, we all know that. We all know sort of each other's good points. See what I mean? Yeah. Well, I, mean, I feel like we push each other on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We're like here we, to strive each other forwards, not to be like, oh, yeah, like you're so fucking small, Ginger Josh. You're fucking never going to get big. <laughs> what did I say? Because we had a little one. Um, because I saw you in person. And I thought, fuck, you look a lot better in person than you do in pictures. That's yeah. why I po- that's why I posed next to you. I had to get like almost get a get a sense of scale. So I yeah. could see I could then I can see and I can compare. I was like, okay, I've got this and he hasn't got that or vice versa. And I can see then where you're exposed. And what I saw what I saw in your physique was you have all the shape on your side. You just need to push for size, which is a very nice problem. That's what I said to you. Yeah. It's such a nice problem to have because if you're vice versa and you've got no shape at all, you can't grow shape. You can't yeah. grow your structure. That, that's just your, your baseline. So people like me, I've got a lot more, obviously I've got a lot more mu- muscle than you right now, but if you equaled me in muscle mass, you'd blow me out of water. Yeah. I haven't got, I haven't got that shape. Yeah. You look at you on your side. Big though, like the most muscular shots, really good. When um, when I said it to you, I said like you need to get fucking freaky big, like Marcus Rule, fucking jaw dropping. Because I reckon you've got that in you. Oh, I think I think I do. I think yeah. I do. Like it's um, I yeah, that's literally I can't push for shape and size. All I can do is try and keep my waist down and get as big as possible. That's yeah. how I'm gonna win shows. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how I, that's that, that's exactly how I saw it. But I said, I said this to you yesterday. I said, we're going to get you fucking Marcus Rule big. <laughs> that's it. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. No, no, I like, I, like, I like that. No, but it was really uh, yesterday's session was fucking good. Yeah. Fucking good. Very fun. 
I learnt a lot of stuff, to be fair. Yeah, we went over some stuff. Which yeah. We said it. It's peak, it's peak to peak thinking, isn't it? Like, yeah. you've got to go to one mountain top to see over to the next. Now you go away from that session knowing what you did then and it can't be anything less. In terms yeah. of uh, okay, here's, here's a question for, for Josh. Because obviously I see, I, see Ant and, I see Ant and Dan pushing each other all the time. And I, and I, know, I, I, I know how hard you push each other. And I know that having someone to train with allows you to push that extra mile. Yeah. Josh, how, how much of an increase of intensity was it training with Dan and Ant as opposed to training on your own? Or do you think you push just as hard as you I, did. I feel like I, I push hard. It's pushing at the right moments. Um, Dan saw it first thing and he summed me up and it made Chanel laugh because he summed me up in a word. You train so aggressive, but you need to try to like, put, use your aggression to your advantage. Um, it was, what it is, it's exactly that. So I, I was about to say, I was about to give you the definition of actual intensity before you answered that, but I didn't need to because what you're doing, you're putting your energies into the wrong thing. You get yourself so pent up and aggressive in a set, you start the set off perfectly, tempos absolutely perfect, execution great. Then as it starts to get hard, you start to get angry and then you lose all of that. <laughs> so you're almost actually being a bit of a, you're, without you knowing it, you think you're training harder, but you're actually, you're almost like, as I told you, it's a cop out. Mm. You, you lose all all focus on the muscle you just start throwing the weight and that's, by doing that you're actually making it easy on yourself yeah that's where you lose intensity your intensity in like the fucking going mad ape shit yeah but that's not intensity intensity yeah. is keeping you know keeping it on the muscle all the way to failure that's what i learned yeah yesterday especially like holding the weight up keep keep holding it up there don't 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 lose that in the set when you're getting when you're getting angry than when it's getting hard, and I found it. I found those taking that sort, those sort of things, where it's more of like you're training intense, but train smarter, intense as well. That kind of thing. I think I think that's a good way of putting it. That's what I took really well. But I tell you what, training with those two in there though, there was so much testosterone in that fucking room, and we had like some proper metal going. It was like you couldn't not train hard. Like there was not if you can't train hard in that environment. You, you you haven't got minerals like there's there's body parts missing you know the piece of the puzzle was missing go find something else to do because then that there was like there's you couldn't fail like you couldn't fail confidence was better as well because I, I and and like was good um, as in when I obviously went on the leg press and obviously I've had a hip issue and straight away I felt it I was like that's gonna fucking explode but it was like go on this leg press and feel this straight away I was like I felt better. I didn't feel like I was copping out because I couldn't do that machine. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I was copping out, which I felt good. So I felt like, no, I am doing the right thing. So sometimes when you do feel a bit like, oh, I can't do that, but what am I going to do? Tear my TFL and fucking hip flexor again? Or am I going to fucking do the horizontal leg press and we get a good fucking set? And then I have to do some mm -hmm. fucking muscle bound set that absolutely ripped me to pieces. <laughs> fucking heart, <laughs> fucking lungs popped. <laughs> I, I like, put some cluster sets. <laughs> they were brutal you put him through a cluster set yeah it was brutal oh mate bro brutal. my f oh, I fucking oh god I love training god I'm gonna come and train with you boys soon it's all been filmed mate I'm gonna make an edit I'm, oh so my god I wanna free. come there was so much I'm so excited to train my now. hamstring fucking went down and saved my fucking life I fucking almost fell over because it was going. I grabbed hold of him. <laughs> he was like, really? right. And I was like, ah, I'm hamstring. <laughs> Dan found it amazing. He was like, yeah, I've made Josh die. And he's like, I love I'm that. Sitting there. I love I'm like, that. I'll get some water. Get some fucking water. You know, when your whole legs is going like that, the hamstring. And like, you, you, I've I done it before it. and I've gone to the ground. And that's the worst thing is because then you can't straighten your leg out. It's all fucked up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just froze for a moment there for me. Um, oh, Josh, can I ask you a question then? So, yeah. from you coming to train with us, bear in mind that was actually that was a bad day for me and Amph. We had no energy going into that session. You probably tell us get trying to get in the gym was hard. Yeah, like, yeah, we yeah, were, yeah. We were lagging behind. But just from watching that, that's probably us at about sixty percent. Yeah. Does does it make sense to, as to where we are from 
you know, and that's a bad training session. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. what I want to make clear to people is the, the intensity and accuracy of your training is going to be a direct reflection of what that person looks like every time. I, feel, I really do feel like the, the use of the word of, I can't say, accuracy is really not used a lot. Like, that's really not used and it's so overlooked. Yeah. It's Training so accuracy, overlooked, overlooked, as in like, staying on the targeted muscle throughout the entire set, even when it gets hard, not losing focus of why you're on that machine. Because it's really easy to get carried or away with just pinning doing more weight that movement. It's very How easy. I how I see it, if you, you start... To set up yeah, a, I think a lot of people... Oh. I was just going to say, how I see it is how, how people start a movement off perfectly and as they start to fatigue, their form changes. You, you are not being more intense by doing that. You're actually being a pussy. Yeah. You're actually giving your muscle a break. Yeah, you know, what it is is that, but that's that's where the mental aspect of it comes in, though, because your mind has to take over. It's like <clears throat> that the, because people's brains will tell them that they that they're done, and then they'll be like, "Oh, I'll cut yourself some slack." That's when you got to go, "No, bitch, yeah. I'm gonna fucking make these reps count, motherfucker," because I want to get bigger. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I say. I say to Amph, I say to Amph because he's guilty of doing it as well. Um, when he starts to get to those pivotal reps, and he starts to, you know, he looks like he's going to about to throw the weight to get through the set. Mm -hmm. I, I say to him, "Don't fuck it up." Mm. Hey, I'd rather, I'd rather fail. You know, if I'm if I'm shooting for eight reps, I'd rather fail on a sixth rep that's that's like bang on than get those extra two reps, waste my energy reserves, and take away from the next set where if I'm perfect, will give me more in return. I definitely feel that it's a maturity thing, though. Like, now training with, uh, with, with Dan and, you know, going to train with Dan and Anth, it definitely, uh, it's nice because it feels like, you know, you, you are, that's the right thing to do. But you're sort of maturing, your training's maturing a little bit in a, be, in, a in a good way. Yeah. You know? And it feels, it, it was really good. It was like some nice... Uh, re positive reinforcement that that's the right thing to do. Don't you don't have, don't have to worry. Because sometimes I'll be like, right, I'm really going to connect. I'm not connecting with this. Let me walk light in the weight. But then in my head, I'm like, why did you light in the weight? You you're going to be like getting stronger. And it's like, mm. do you know what I mean? You have that battle, the little battle in your head. I didn't have that. I didn't have that at all. And it was amazing. And it it reinforced that factor of, yeah, it's, if you're fucking holding out there, each one. That's what you should be doing. Don't be a knob. The thing is, you've got to use as much weight as possible that you can actually use. Yeah. Problem is, mate, is in your logbook, yeah, when you have one session where you sped up a rep and you know about it and you write down that number what you got and you ignore it. It's a fake number. The, you've got to go into the next session and try and beat that. Yeah. And that wasn't a progression. So instead of having that conflict in your mind, You've got to just make sure every session is perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's not, and you don't get the progression, it's because you didn't get the progression. There's, there's a reason for that. You're probably dieting. You probably <laughs> didn't set yourself up for the set properly. You probably didn't set yourself up for the session properly. Or whatever. Whatever it is, that's a feedback, feedback you give to your coach. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go on another question? Oh, he's, he, he's had to mute his fucking mic. <laughs> As we wait, we'll wait for time to get another another question going from a listener. Let's get another question going. Okay. Um, Instagram. People from Instagram. There's a few I'm uh, ignoring this shit. Oh, is there anyone talking about driving insulin in the bum? Have you heard that one? That's the new way of taking it, I've heard. You can put it there if you want. Yeah, you just pour it in, though. You don't inject it. You just pour insulin in the bum hole, and it, it makes you get bigger quicker. Yep. I love that. <laughs> Natural lubricant as well. Natural Stuff all the rice cakes up there afterwards. Fucked in the ass. Hashtag glycogen. <laughs> okay, how did the podcast come about and where would you like to see it go? Fucking, I don't even know where it came about. We were just asking and having a chat. It was I, got a, I, got a I got a message from Dan saying, yo, dudes, <laughs> do you want to talk some shit on a podcast with us? Because you like to chat shit and that's all you tend to do. And I was like, fuck yeah, bro, let's go. Uh, I'm, taking full <laughs> I'm taking full responsibility for this podcast. 
I, I, I put everyone together. I'm just saying. Yeah, it was Dan. Darren's idea, but I, th- I think it was just you just got a group of guys having a chat, in it, who like-minded people with like-minded yeah. goals and wanted to spur each other on. But I feel like there's a good contrast as well. I feel like we're, I feel like we're very, we have very contrasting personalities. Um, I feel like there's a good, there's a good, a, a balance between us all that that brings like this this variety to the podcast. I, um, is, I is see, I actually good. hand I hand selected everyone to go on this podcast, and I kept that. You're in like mind. Nick Fury bringing the Avengers together. <laughs> literally, yeah. literally, I needed a host like person, which was Ginger Josh. He's very hosty. Yeah. He's a host after the most. Yes. Then, yes, then I, I needed Josh because, well, he's very opinionated but very morally correct in what he says morally correct i like that word well, i'm i'm like i'm in the background i'm a little bit more i'd say i'm a little bit more educational with my things with my stuff Am, Am is like the die hard meathead but he's quiet i'll tell you what though dan you say how it is <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. i do Straight, yeah, yeah. The point. There's no the, bullshit. It's a, it's no, there's no beat around the bush. It might be like, but I like that though. It's yeah, like you and me, I mean, Dan. We've had, you and me, you and me, Dan. We've had a couple of like uh, debates. You know, we've had a couple of back and forths on a few episodes, and I like that. I love a good, uh, I love a good mass discussion with <laughs> opinion with, with two opinionated individuals with contrasting views. I do, I do enjoy it. It's very nice. It, you know, it's it's nice. nice. I think, like, if you if you've got a different opinion on something, I like to. It's not arguing. It's like I like to. I like to debate it, and I'm hoping someone changes my perspective. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. It's healthy, bro. And it, look, if you if you can't have a healthy discussion and you can't um, value someone else's view, even if it's complete opposite to yours, you're a fucking egotistical bell end. You, you need to sort that shit out. It's true, though, man. Yeah, I don't know about ego testicle, but it's, I, I, you, I, when you said it, I thought it was like ego testicle. <laughs> it's a pair yeah, of you have big balls, and, big and they both have their own personality. Yeah. <laughs> What's the next one? We got anyone talking about how big my poo was this morning? Do you want to know about that? Because it was epic. <laughs> I, I, had, I had out of water shit. You know, it really like it beaches out. And I was like, you know, come and smell it. It was like, no! Was like, come on! And she went in there and it stunk. I left a bit of chunk of poo on the side as well. <laughs> you crazy fucking <laughs> I didn't even, I was like, I flushed it. I was like, oh, quick, quickly get changed. Quickly get, get the shower. I got the shower. She was like, you left poo on the side. I said, like, yeah, you can clean it. <laughs> Dan's, Dan's got a new, another question like that. Go on, Dan, it's gone. In his eyes. Go on. Do we want a serious one or a, a joke one? Don't worry. Just got, Which, you, hit us, with, hit us, hit us with, with whatever you want, bro. Read the first one out, you see. Boom. What were, what were your personal sacrifices in the suit of bodybuilding? Do you have more regret? I don't have any personal sacrifices. Regrets? I have no regrets. I live no, with I, no regrets. I, this, this is me. This, like, I found myself when I started bodybuilding. I didn't know what I wanted to do in life. Personal sacrifice, though, I believe there is personal sacrifice within bodybuilding. I have a passion for this sport and I love it with every ounce of me, but there's a part of me that at the same time could happily have nothing to do with it and go and live up a mountain on my own and chill the fuck out away from society. I really and my don't... missus just looked at me with a, with a face that's like, you fucking what, son? Oh. Nah, man. I could, I could, I could happily like, like my goal is to get to the Olympia, and I want to get there. And I love bodybuilding with every ounce of my soul, but it does have a sell-by date for me. Like I know that once I, Dude, once I reach I that, this, I say this all the time: live it, mate, while you can, whilst you're in an age range where you can be competitive and you can do it healthily. After that, then you know, great. That's that's for your after body. Do it where you can. After bo- exactly, man. After bodybuilding, I want a family. I want to just chill. I literally just want to be chilled and, and relaxed. Literally, when I'm done bodybuilding, my efforts I put towards bodybuilding are going to be directly transferred over to the efforts I put into my family and being the best dad I can be. 
Exactly. Definitely, man. I want like 10 kids and just a house full of kids because <laughs> I'm like a giant child. Man, I'd, I'd be epic with kids. They'd have so much fun. We would lot, we'd paint the walls. We'd draw on the walls together. We'd just have a laugh all the time. It'd be fucking oh, hilarious. Your girlfriend's like, you fucking what? What? Yeah, she's like, I'm moving out. <laughs> <laughs> have you told her you haven't taken kids yet? I then? Have you told her you haven't taken kids yet? Well, she fucking knows now. She knows now. <laughs> I'll put them out. Let's no, we we were watching Cheaper by the Dozen, and I was like, that is my, that's fucking nice. Cool. That's a classic film. Man, I it's don't fucking know. epic. We watched it like Good two nights ago. Well, I, I watched like too. 10 minutes of it and fell asleep. Yeah. What films have you guys been watching lately? All I kinds watch, of shit, man. I watched Tintin. I sort of talked oh, about that yesterday. Yeah, it's a fucking said. epic film, Tintin. Fucking epic. Yeah, epic I think. Film. Yeah, see, we've been watching The Hobbit and we're going to go on to Lord of the Rings next. Whoa. Um, because obviously it's the. Have, you seen the, Lord of, have you seen The Lord of the Rings? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I was going to say. I was going to say, no, 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 I'm doing it, you know, I'm doing it in the right order Hobbit first, then Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah, yeah, um, I'll fuck with that. I might, um, before we start Lord of the Rings, I might give Tintin a watch. Tintin Tintin's was good. good. Tintin? Tintin was good. I want to watch a film now. I want to watch a film today. Wait, what's that film we watched? Gentleman? Is it Gentleman? Oh, we watched that the other night. Mate, that's a fucking epic film. Yeah. We watched it uh, literally Saturday night. Sick film. Amazon Prime, very good. Yeah. Yeah, highly recommend. Ten out of ten. Oh, man, how, funny how funny is it at the end? Um, who's the who's the uh, producer of that? Uh, he does Snatch, Lock, Stock. Oh, it's um, is it Guy yeah. Ritchie? Guy Ritchie, of course it is. Guy Ritchie. At the end, you've got Fletcher telling the story to Guy Ritchie as if to make the film. I thought that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. It's nuts, man. It's a fucking epic film. The whole concept of the film was phenomenal. It blew my mind. I was like, this, this is what film should be. Okay, so I'm guessing you've seen Lock, Stock and Snatch. Yes. Of course, mate. Snatch is probably one of my favorite films in the world. Okay, so Lock, Stock, Snatch or Gentleman? Poor oh, mate. I, I, I got to go stock. with Snatch because Snatch, like Snatch is like my favorite film. Yeah. It's definitely got to be one of my favourite films ever. I think I think it's got to be Snatch, isn't it? It's the humour. It's it's all of it, man. It's the story. It's everything. It just comes together perfectly. It's a fucking classic as well. Yeah, I like, I like Snatch. Yeah. I like Boris. I'm looking at um, the other films he's done as well. Uh, man from Uncle as well. That's a brilliant film. No. That's a very good film. That's a very, very good film indeed. I, I, I agree. No, it's done so much. Oh, Rock and Roller. I've ever seen Rock and Roller. Oh, mate. Really cool. That film is fucking sick. If you haven't seen Rock and Roller, motherfuckers, go and watch it. Sick. Epic film. Very good. 10 right, out of 10 with bang. I'm on my list now. I haven't seen Honestly, it. mate, Rock and Roller is. Oh. I need to watch The Gentleman. I've got Amazon Prime, so I need to make the most of it. The Gentleman is epic, mate. And watch that. Go and watch that. Hey, let's another question, Daniel Sun. Let's go. Daniel Sun. Right. Um, okay, okay. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. He's watching trailers. <laughs> yeah. Watching He's got a fucking trailer. film on. 2002. Uh, do you train lagging body parts a specific way and do you adjust food on those days? No. Nope. Uh, oh yes, no, I do. I actually do. <laughs> <laughs> I do, yeah. <laughs> I train. I train. I have a specific uh, chest uh, training plan because apparently my chest is is weak in some shots. I used to think my chest was a strength, but Patrick pointed out to me that it lacks density, thickness in certain shots, like my double bicep and my lat spread. It doesn't quite pop how it needs to. So I've got a um, specific chest routine, which is fucking brutal. Not that what none of my other training is, because he's just changed all of my other training. And it's fucking vicious. In my life, have I ever trained the way I do now? And it's so satisfying and horrific. 
It's funny. It's funny you say that because do you know how like some shots your body a body part can look really good, and the other shots the mm -hmm. same body part can look shit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If, like for example, me my in my most muscular my delts look really round and full. Yeah. But in my front relax, I look shit. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I get you. I get you. Yeah, that, that, it's um. He pointed it out to me, and then I was because I, I never thought of it. And he, he was like, hmm, your, your front double, your chest needs, like when, I, when I'm up here, it doesn't quite match my, my delt, like here. And in my lat spread, it doesn't quite pop as much. And my delt's kind of uh, are sitting up higher. I need that top line to get a bit thicker. And I was like, fuck yeah, I know what you're saying. So it's a lot of incline pressing, a lot, a lot of flies, a lot of volume, a lot of heavy weight. It's fucking hard, man. I gotta say, training with Patrick is fucking is another level. In terms of uh, nutrition, are you doing anything around chest day? Nada. All my nutrition stays the same. Stays the same. And to be completely honest with you, I'm not gonna lie. Like I've noticed uh, extra thickness in my chest down to the training. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, my training's changed. My leg training's changed a lot. A lot higher volume. Um, a lot more specific in terms of execution and tempos and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I'd say on, I've got added volume across the week. So I've hamstrings on pool day as well, as well as leg day. I have, mm -hmm. uh, I have not planned meal the night before legs. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? My back day has changed in terms of We've made you it look at the bit. bar now instead of touching it. Yeah, pretty much. Because <laughs> it's too yeah, big. <laughs> we've, made it, we've, made it, we've made it less neurally fatiguing. So to prioritize my energy for the sessions around back, instead of fucking myself up on back. Um, That's the thing, man. It's like you're pulling eight plates when you've got a back like you have. It's just going to take away from your ability to perform elsewhere. Yeah, I was finding in my pool session fucked me so much two days later my push session was suffering mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so uh yeah apart from that's really all we do in terms of nutrition no i just have a training day diet and a rest day diet um i just have the rest, day, the rest day sorry the rest day before legs i obviously have it off my meal there's added calories mm -hmm. there i guess i just with my with my food the only thing that changes is um my pre-workout shake and my post-workout meal just come out of my plan on rest days yeah everything else is the same that's nice because i love that when you're in a uh, surplus you haven't got a massive massive difference in calories because obviously in your mm -hmm. rest day you're resting and that's when you're growing so that's why you want your calories yeah a bit different when you're yeah. trying to drop body fat i like to have those rest days yeah, as well as fat burning days and really utilize that period where you're not training but when you're pushing up in body weight I, I like rest day calories to be pretty high. Speaking of body weight, I was 109.1 the other night, bro. 109.1. And I've never seen that number in my life. What's that in pounds? Big. Uh, that's what, like 240 something, I think. Fuck me. That was before my last oh, meal. Good. You bastard, mate. That's heavy for you. You're short. I'm buying five fuck all, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my missus says to me, she always like, "You're so fucking big now," and I'm like, "No, can, you, can you send me pictures your next check-in so I can have a look?" Yeah, so she Josie said to me though, I, we were, I was taking a, I was taking a photo, right? And she went, "You look nothing like that." I went, what do you mean? She said, "You look nothing like how you look in a photo at all. It's like it does no no justice whatsoever." With a picture, and I'm like, "Yeah." Well, so I, I I don't know. I see myself looking like a child regardless, but she says I'm big, so I take it. They're meant to say that though. Yeah. But I have noticed like she's got a bit she's got a bit like thicker since we've, we've since we've been together. And I am now like double her size. Whereas when we got together I wasn't. So I'm like, I must have got bigger. Hundred and makes me excited. And she's bigger. She's, she's, uh, she's she tick. Up. She tick with two C's. She's on a gaming plan right now, and she's um, she's getting thicker, and I'm 
I'm like. Right, so we got cut off there, but yeah. we're back. We're going to finish a couple more questions and wrap it up. Go on, in. So, in short, there are a few things we do, like we, like we said, but nothing too complicated. No amazing protocols of insulin or growth hormone. Can I say one insulin. thing? Can I just put in? Um, I'm small everywhere, except my penis. So I'm just growing every day. Nothing changes. Every body part is treated the same, pretty much. Yeah, there literally. You go. There we go. There you go. Um, right. My penis. <laughs> yeah. Next one. Uh, do, 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 do. do. Ways to improve kidney health, EGFR, bun, creatinine, etc. I love heart and what's it called? Vital support. Stop playing fucking, what's it called? Chicken with your fucking health. Yeah, sorry to interrupt this question. Josh just sent me pictures. Fucking hell, yeah. You yeah. I thought I thought I thought I'd said those. They were just uh, just like randomly the other morning. I was like, "Ooh, I look happy. I look big. I'm looking chunky." <laughs> Is that how you feel? Can I just say, I just say in, the, in those shots you sent me, yeah, you look like a small professional. Oh, thank you, bro. I appreciate pre- so I, I, I appreciate that. I say yeah, small. Because I'm being honest. I say small because you're not small. I'm saying you need more muscle, but you look like a professional. Oh, man, I can't hang with a pro at the moment. There's no chance in fucking hell. Well, you do look like a professional. Thank you, bro. I really the appreciate that. Man, the, the fucking back shot. The, my back, I feel, is coming up massive. Do you know what? I've actually learned to pull with my traps now. Which was my downfall. Thank you, my love. Look at that, boys. Look at that. What's that? What's in there? It's chicken and rice. Just chicken and rice. No, no veg. Nah, fuck the veg, man. Fuck the veg. I think it's green powder. Yeah, I'm green green powder. powder. Green powder is far better than veg, bro. We just well, especially if you're eating a lot of food. It's not better. Right. It's obviously not better, but when you eat a lot of food, the veg can be very filling, you know. Yes. Um, yeah. But yeah, those, those shots, I feel like my back is starting to come up because I've actually started to pull through my... My rhomboids and my traps are really weak compared to my lats and my, my erectors. And I find that I, I, if I look back at my training through the years, I'm always pulling through my lats and my erectors come into it a lot as well. So I've really started to learn to pull through my traps and I feel like it's helped them go and just take that next step to kind of mm-hmm. thickville, you know? Getting back to the question. Sorry, I interrupted there. Stop the, yes. the, the uh, question is stop taking PEDs. Yeah. Take, honestly, the ways to improve it. Ways to improve it. It's the sad truth of it. But get off your gear. Get off gear. Start taking some vital support. Yeah. Love heart. But we know, but we know if you've got serious goals, that's not going to happen. Like, so, um, in terms of creatinine, you're going to see a lot of guys who are, have a lot of muscle. The creatinine is going to be higher, just as part of it. Um, kidney health, watch your blood pressure. Mm. I'm not saying it's going to improve your kidney health, but it's sure as shit, you don't want it to get any worse. Yeah. So keep on top of your blood pressure. And I'll be the first to admit, I've been lazy the last couple of months at checking it. So I'm going to write a note in my diary now, check your blood pressure. Check your blood pressure. Um, yeah, so... In terms of supplementation, I hate, you know, I hate saying it because, yeah, there are supplements you can take, but never use it as a crutch. That should be your first port of call is to, if you're using steroids, make sure you know the effect those steroids have on you. So if, you, if you're using train all year round, which you shouldn't be anyway, and you notice you get high blood pressure from it, probably not best to use it. Mm. No, trust me, it's not going to make you a pro because if you need to use that to be a pro, then you were never meant to be a pro. You mean, so don't yeah, worry. Exactly. Don't worry. Save, save the harsh stuff for prep. Um, the thing is as well, right? Like if, you're, if you get bloods done and, you, and your health markers are all to whack, 
Like you should literally, like you should see, like a lot of people will, will be like, what can I do to stop this? What can I take? It's like, no, what can I stop taking to get everything better before I look at going back on? Yeah. Like people, people always, people always want to try and, as you said, find a, a something that's going to be a crutch to get their blood markers in range while not coming off because they're scared that they're going to lose their gains or they're going to go backwards or whatever. Coming off is probably the best thing you could do if your health markers are all to whack. It's, it is It is the best thing to do. It's not probably. It is the fucking best thing you can do. There's nothing better for your health if gear is affecting your health yeah. markers with your blood work than coming off, resetting, get everything in range, and then going again and then getting regular blood work to stay on top of it. Hey, look. It's very important, man. Longevity, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to be the one to preach this or coming off and whatnot. At least, you know, I go on a cruise, which I'm, I'm going to do until I quit bodybuilding, unless my health markers tell me I need to come off. Um, but put it this way, James Hollingshead, fucking, we know he's a top tier pro now. He is currently doing a PCT and coming off. If he can do it, you can. Yeah. This is the thing as well. It's like, <clears throat> you know, so many people are scared to come off because they rely on it so much. They don't understand that, that like how important, the, they, they overlook the nutrition and the training and just go straight to that. That's what most people that ask these questions, generally this is the, this is like the fact with that, their, their mindset mm. is they look at the gear and they go, this is the thing I need. And they overlooked all the other things that are gonna keep that, In check. that those gains while they do come off. Do you know what I mean? But for sure, I don't want to. Um, that's not directed at the guy that asked the question because I'm sure that's not the angle the guy had. I generally want to help him. In no, no, way. of course not. Of course not. Yeah, so I'm just so, being um, a dick. Yeah, it's just what we see you know, as coaches as well. We see it. We see it every day. Mm -hmm. um, so, in terms of improving your scores, I mean, yes, make sure you're cruising regularly. Don't take the piss. Um, so always have a mitigative response rather than trying to repair that's what's already broken. Um, there are certain supplementation that you should be using year round. So I use personally, I use Vital Support, Love Hearts, any of the JP range because he covers pretty much anything that you need that panel should that is directed at helping overall health. So your liver health, kidney health, and stuff like that. Now in terms of and support health, max. So Portmax, brilliant, that as well. Fantastic. Not it's the that OG alone. OCS. Yeah, not no, no, not alone, of course not. But right. it is a very well-rounded, very affordable supplement that is, a, in my opinion, a, a necessity when, and year-round as well, not just to make my bloods better, at all fucking year. From January the 1st to December the 31st. Yeah, don't, just, fucking don't just take your health stumps when, you, when you're on the cycle. Take them all year We've round. Had this, I've, I've had this. I've had very few, quite Rick, a few questions about that recently. Mate, Rick said this as well, you know. He sees people that come in and they're like, oh, I'll take support max when I come off just to get my bloods. Just so that when I get bloods done, that they're good. And it's like, well, you don't care about what they're like when you're not reading them? Like, seriously? We, yeah, as well, you spend more time on gear than off. Usually, yeah. <laughs> a competitive bodybuilder. Like, yeah, that's the fact of it. So that period of time where you've been cruising for six to ten weeks or whatever it is, the blood's in that in that point there is not an overall reflection of what your bloods look like year round. You know? mm -hmm. So blood work during a cruise phase, blood work when you're on cycle as well can be very helpful. Doing it on mm -hmm. cycle can make you uh, have an understanding of what certain compounds in their dosages have on your blood work. If you're seeing that a certain compound is really skewing your, your liver enzymes more so than another compound and the result isn't worth it, then you could probably sub that out realistically. Um, I mean, as we said, vital support, all of those, they're going to help use those year round. You're going to see a lot of similarities in panels from such supplement companies. You're going to see astralagus. That's going to be a very com common ingredient. Just be clued up on the dosages that are effective. So for me personally, four grams upwards twice a day of astralagus yeah. is never going to go amiss. 
Uh, that's brilliant. Um, apart from that, certain protocols, they're very individual, but I would check out Danny Trudel's page on Instagram. He's got some oh, just absolute wizardry in terms of the posts he comes out with, in terms of how he's improved bodybuilders' blood work for 20, 30 years. So give those a read. They're long, but if you care, you'll read them. Yes. What yeah. he said, guys. Yeah, I, know, I know it's boring, guys, but your health can't be messed with. Yeah. It's all fun and games sitting here talking about anadrol, talking about fucking tests and stuff, but... You know, if you if you're thinking about taking the gear, make sure you can afford and take the fucking else up as well because they're they're perfect, really important. Perfect example of that actually is I've just put in 50 milligrams of anavar a day in my plan. Yeah, just uh, I get on with the I really get on with it. Like strength I get from it's great. Um, of course you have side effects. It affects your liver enzymes. But if I was to use uh, for example, I, I said to Josh, I saw the other day um, in Amp's gym bag, he had some Anadrol 50 in the side pocket. <laughs> and I said, oh, so how long have you been using that? I thought you were getting strong. And do you know what? Amp's blood work, considering he uses that for like five weeks at a time at the end of a cycle, is fantastic. I couldn't get away with that. Just personally for me, that steroid does not agree with my liver enzymes. It sends them absolutely shit. So that's what I use Anavar instead. That's a perfect example of use what you can personally. Um, understand what these drugs do to your blood work. Everything's individual. Amph's blood work is literally like a natty, like a natty after he's cruised. <laughs> you would not think he uses steroids. So, um, and that's just, due, that's just due to his understanding of what certain compounds do to his blood markers. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't take the piss. For sure, for sure, very important. Well, this is more important than gear as well. So yes, food. Well, we uh, what's um, what's, you got any more? You got any more, more question? We'll finish finish it, finish it off. Yeah, coming up to the hour mark, I believe. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it looks like you've been. Oh. Uh, what kind of rice is it, Jasmine? Jasmine, bro. I don't eat anything other than jasmine, bro. There's more carbs, it's sticky, and it's so easy to eat, and it tastes like heaven. It looks nice. And when my missus, and when my missus makes it, she puts like salt and pepper on it, and a bit of uh, seventy percent less fat salad cream, and literally, it makes me cream. <laughs> <laughs> Little top tip for people who don't know. Have you ever had Philadelphia? Yeah. I had this conversation yesterday. I've, I've recently discovered Philadelphia, right? Philadelphia, they do a normal, they do a yeah, local, on. They do a local. You've only recently tried Philadelphia. Yes. When, when things have a lot of calories in them, I don't add them to my food. Fuck yeah? one of this kid. But <laughs> I know, I know, I know. No, I'm anal. I'm anal. Um, so they do a normal. They do a light and they do a lightest. The lightest, per 30 grams, you have to be a fucking weirdo to use 30 grams, mind you, because it's a lot. It's a lot. Like, yeah. Per 30 grams is like 20 calories. So like one gram of one gram of fat, one gram of carb, three gram protein. That's impressive. That's impressive. It's ridiculous. So on my crumpets, my salmon, Philadelphia, great. Have you tr there's, a, there's a salmon flavor, Philadelphia. Ooh. Really? If you're poor, if you're poor and you can't afford salmon, just buy the salmon Philadelphia, <laughs> whop that on your bagel, Bob's your mother's brother. There's a fucking health hack for you. <laughs> don't, break, don't break the bank with salmon, buy Philadelphia salmon flavor. Philadelphia salmon. It will get you huge. It will. Oh, fuck it. It's going to be crazy. So you can fill that with salmon. Two more questions. Now. Quick ones. Why not? Um, favorite pre workout at the minute? Not assassin, it's fucking too much. Oh, mate, 500 milligrams of caffeine. I, man, I, I didn't even do that. What? That's, six, that's, that's just a 16 so gram good. scoop, right? It's got so much shit in it. I'm like, I, I did 10 and I still felt fucked up. I think I needed I, I think I, that pre workout for that leg session. And it was a long old fucking, it was a lot of volume. <laughs> 
Um, I'll tell you what, one of the best pre workouts I've had in the last three months. Naughty boy. Naughty boy pre workout. Menace. Menace. Menace, yeah. Naughty boy. Epic. Just, 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 just the ticked all the boxes. The just, just ticked all the boxes. Nice flavour. Went right, I'll, I'll, brilliant. I'll... I felt like a geezer. It was good. It gave me a good pump. I was just like, I was ready. You know, I went in there, focus. wasn't too fucked up. It's just a nice level. A nice level. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll be honest. My, my, my favourite pre-workout for the past like 12 weeks has been a black coffee with a scoop of Vascumax in a shaker. That's a, that used to be one of my favourites. Yeah. Simply because I find that I find that if I if I have too much stimulant, it just it it takes my focus away. I can't focus on the session. I'm too distracted. It's my ADHD doesn't help either. You know, I'm fucking distracted anyway. I'm I'm so fucking distracted that I distract myself from being distracted by getting distracted. It's fucking crazy. But that combination, <laughs> I should love that unicorn piss flavor. Oof. Yeah. I think a black a black coffee, a little little hit of caffeine to pick me up a little bit. I don't need I don't need much more. And do you know what as well is I feel like when my rest is good and I'm sleeping really well and my which my, my rest has improved so much and my sleep has improved so much that I get through the days with loads of energy and then by the by the evening after training especially I'm fucked. So I sleep like a baby. So I don't require those mass amounts of stimulants all the time to keep me going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, mean, I agree. Vasky Max for a pump product's great. Really like it. Uh, JP Pre Pump is really good. I've been lately. I've been combining the JP Pre Pump and the Dialin. He's just brought that out. The new Tropic. Excellent. Oh, I, I do actually. I, I did see that. See that shit excites me because new Tropics really really do something for me that's that a, that a normal that's, pre-workout can't yeah i mean it has got a bit of caffeine in it as well but a little not, bit of caffeine sits really well with me i'm gonna get some of that perfect i was talking to jordan about it and i was just trying to get across to him like well we were talking about how he was saying people are already gonna start to copy it because it's so just the ratios and what, what people don't realize is much it's, it? the ratio of, it's the ratios of ingredients you use. More is not more. Never in pre-workouts. So it's the ratios of ingredients mm -hmm. you use and the combination, because combinations in the right ratios have a synergy that make a supplement act differently. And he's just yeah, nasty, it, man. It, the, it's absolutely perfect. Exactly what you're saying there is the reason Vascumax is in my opinion the best pump product you can get because it's pump products with more ingredients and higher dosages of ingredients but the synergistic value of the ingredients in basket marks makes it epic i can honestly say when you've got a simple panel like vast max it's just citrulline it's citrulline uh beetroot uh and a little bit of no2 isn't it um no it's fuck. I haven't got it. I haven't got a tub here. It's my parents. Well, I know it's a very simple panel. But it's extremely simple. Yeah. Simple panel is a winner. Don't get, when you're buying pre workouts, don't get sold by. What was long, the one long, long, what's, what's the. What was Quartz brand? What was his. Quartz. What was the. Yeah, there was a. B -b 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 Fuck, I can't remember the name of it now. There was a product I bought once because it looked epic. It was a pump formula. And it had like so much shit on the panel. I was like, whoa, this must be amazing. And I tried it. It was fucking shit. Was it a beta core? No, 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 no. It was... Uh... Oh, what was it? Right, so this ser I think it's Serum Code is one of them. Oh, um, something Labs. Um... Yeah, you know the one. And it was like Don't know. something pump. Anyway, it was shit. Don't buy his crap. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm simple. I like um, Redcon One Total War, Dialin, Vasky Max, JP Pre Pump. They're all great. I oh, usually combine the pump product with like a with a low stim. And that's what you need. Maybe a new Tropic on top. Mm -hmm. It's great. Fuck yeah! I want to try Fuad's Hostility. 
Yeah. It cost you like 10 grand to get it shipped over here. <laughs> it cost you about fucking 100 quid to get it across. And then it came 50, 50 quid for Literally, the Literally, mate. Quid. The most expensive free workout going just to fucking for shipping. Yeah. Right, last question and we'll wrap this up. Go on. Go. Do you, do you buy gear online from a gym or just friends? Can online be trusted? Fuck, I don't know. Fuck, you know, that's such an open, that's like such an open question, man. It's like, can online be trusted? What website are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Do you know yeah, the people? It's that. like, well, yeah, ignore that. Where did you get your gear from? Without saying who, like, how do you know the acquaintance? Friend. Very trusted uh, person I met through another person who I trust a lot. Yes. Very similar. Exactly the same. I've never, someone in the gym, someone just going around in the gym selling gear, I've never bought gear from my gym, ever. Mm-hmm. Never. When it it's makes me laugh, like I get clients say, oh, guy in the gym gave me this. What he gave you, what is it? Like you don't know. How do you <laughs> trust that guy in the gym? I know personally, my source, he has to use what he's giving me. And my source, is a very, very accomplished person in this sport. So I can trust that, as well as the relationship I have with that person. So I know I'm, I can trust that. And it works, because as soon as I started using that source, I've noticed my progress has, go, like, has doubled, because mm-hmm. obviously the gear is correctly dosed. Just, not just that, but look for um, lab reports on specific compounds from the lab that you're using. Just make sure they will check out. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. What was that trend you sent me the other day, Josh? There was, that was one of MedTech's versions, but it was from 2018. Mate, that was awful. Mate, it, it, I, I, it wasn't that colour. I swear, when I took it, it wasn't that colour, but it's been in the cupboard for for two years, just sitting there. Yeah, I sent it um, I sent it over to someone very trusted in me, who I appreciate their opinion on such things. And uh, they laughed. They said, like, just don't. Yeah. I'll tell you, uh, what was it? Because it said, it said administration from a... Oh. It, it was just hilarious. Just the, the back, the back of it was just like, at, like proper. Uh, what did it say? Something about re- use recommended practitioner or something, and it was Tremblone. <laughs> <laughs> that was comical though. That was comical. But yeah, there is lots of sites out there you can check that you check your stuff's legit because um, there's been labs that have been around for just for years and years before we even started bodybuilding. And they're still going now. So they're the ones that are most likely have got the name and why they're still around. Not just that, just know your... Know you are the best. The... So I was just going to say, know your gear as well. Like the trend you showed me, it was too dark. Oh, man, yeah. I, it, I, I actually, when I did get it, it was like orange. I remember it being orange, but that's just got darker sitting in the cupboard, sitting in there. It needs to be thrown away. But it's, just, it's, it's uh, that box, I haven't opened... Well, I've probably opened it and put a few things in it, but there's there's T3 in there, there's a bottle of Clen, there's wind strollers, there's everything you need, everything that was in the prep. Everything that was in the prep in the prep was is in is in there. Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah, don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> I'm fucking LAPD. Like, just looking at buying my little bottle of wind stroll. <laughs> Not worth it. <clears throat> yeah, I was saying to my brother the other day. I was to my brother. Oh, my brother's natty. I was saying to my brother the other day, I was like, "Do you know if I go back and choose? Like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'd start gear." I would. Fuck, it was amazing. <laughs> I don't know, man. If I'm honest, like, if I'm genuinely being completely honest, if I could go back to the day I, I like, I took gear for the first time, I don't know if I would. Really. I would. I would. I would. Mm. Yeah, I would, but not the first day I took it. Uh, I would have prolonged my <laughs> usage till I was about 22. Oh, no, see, I was like 22. <laughs> uh, 22, 23 anyway. But I don't know if I would. I think I would just stay natty and just like, 
and just gone down a different path. <laughs> Fuck it, I would have done it. Still, t- no, what's that film? We are the Millers. No regrets, or something like that. No, no, no regrets. No regrets. He's got it written on his like. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not saying I regret. I'm not saying I regret it. I'm not saying I regret it because it's brought me to where I am now, and it's going to take me to where I'm going to be. However, it's a decision that, yeah, is there's you know there's what, some I, repercussions, you know. You know what? It's funny because I, I think I'm kind of similar. I think about all the lessons I'm learning whilst I'm doing this and experience it. But in all honesty, I think the lessons are teaching me that it probably shouldn't have to learn those lessons. So you should probably not have started it. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a big fucking decision. Do you know what I mean? I well, say to my brother all the time. It's not, to be, it's not something to be glamorized at all. No, it's not. It's not. Cool. not cool at all. Um, no. now, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shout this out. I'm going to get fucking... I don't care because this is my opinion and I think this was bloody reckless. Don't follow the guy because of this. What's his name? Ginger Guy. Uh, one of Callum Muscle Mentor's clients. I won't let me get it up. I don't care because uh, like, I don't know the guy personally, but with the amount of followers he has, he should not be saying this. Don't know. A ginger guy. And the total fucking, uh, hope, Josh is the I only hope, ginger guy I know, apart from Ed Sheeran. Oh, yeah. I mean, I hope someone bloody shows him this because this isn't me fucking telling him what he should and shouldn't do and how he shouldn't do his social media. But he's got to understand that Josh Bridgman. Okay. Oh, the, the men's physique guy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one of these posts, I, I only saw it because it was on... Uh, Callum Musselman or shared it. He didn't even read it himself. I talked to Callum about it. He said, why would you share that? Like, I, Because I respect Callum. I asked him, why would you share that? Um, What's it say, bro? What's it say? I'm intrigued. Said, well, Callum said to me, he said, well, actually, I didn't even read it. I mean, so it was, I was like, oh, well, fair enough. And he agreed with me, to be honest, because the guy, he put up a post. I can't remember exactly what he said, but he said, like, um, uh, you know, I'm a drug user, but don't worry, it's the fun kind. Now, with somebody, let's let's make an assumption. His followership. That's a retarded like, statement. Yeah, his followership is of a younger generation because anyone older wouldn't give a fuck about him. To be honest, he hasn't done anything. Mentally, you know, usually if you've been in sport <laughs> one, you're probably a bodybuilder. Well, this true. is why we have Dan on the podcast, Dan, people. We don't fucking love him. <laughs> no, it's true. You know, it's just he 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 draws in a younger followership. He's got forty one point oh. two thousand followers. A lot of those people are young. I think giving drug use, especially steroids, that ruins lives, kills people. Promoting that as a good thing. A healthy thing is not smart at all. I mean, I think I don't think that's a reflection. It's of reckless. It's fucking reckless. Reckless. It's not reckless. Like, you know what? Like, I don't know the guy. It really is. I can only assume that he didn't mean it in that way. But it was just a stupid statement to make because there are there are kids out there who are, have not yet gone down the path who will think it's okay to now. I don't know if that. people think before a, they, they write things over. They're like, what content can I put out there today? How, how fucking retarded can I be today? I'm trying like, to find the post to get it right because I don't want to get it wrong because I've said it on here. But I remember my automatic statement, like my automatic reaction to it, I wasn't happy. I was like, that makes me feel a little bit sick inside. Knowing, hmm. knowing the effects of steroids because I've been around it for a long time with my own family and other people. No, and he has no right to say that he's been using. Well, he doesn't look like he's been using for long. I'm guessing he hasn't been a long user because we men's physique or whatever, and he doesn't look like. No, no offense to him, but he doesn't look like he's been using for a long time. So I don't think he's in. Maybe any- there's fucking loads of people that look don't look like they use gear and they use gear. It's fucking mental. <laughs> there is when you go to the gym and you like. You're there. I mean, you no, really but the, inf- the influencing kind of people as well. 
the influencer kind, the people that have an influence on people. They're like, I take trend, and they're like, you don't even look like you live, bro. I mean, uh, uh, people can say what they want in it. I mean, we, we'll have a view. I mean, I, I wouldn't even notice. If I, uh, if I, if I, if I, unless I'm really bad for not reading captions and stuff, but uh, it's it's one of those things where when you do make videos, it's like you want to tell people what you're doing, but you also want to make sure that people aren't just going to go out and do what you're doing because it is important to let people know that look, I'm taking I'm taking an- anabolics, right? Because if people might look at you and go, "Fucking hell, like he's not on anything and completely naive to the to the picture." When that's not the that's not the that's not the case. But also, you don't want you don't want to be. For, this is me. Anyway. I don't want to be telling everyone what I'm doing for then people to go out and just go. Right, I'm going to start what he did, and it's like no, 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 no. Like, the, the, do some research. Know the repercussions. Know what know what can hack and happen. Like, really invest in the health side of things and really. Well, the, the kids. The, is, the thing is, really naive people. Really naive people. Mostly kids, or young people will be like, it's okay, it's the fun kind. That's the problem with those retarded um, statements. This is what I sent, because I can't see the post, but I can see what I sent um, Callum when I saw it. I said, uh, I said to Callum, I'm a drug user, but it's okay, the fun kind. Um, I said to him, I don't know who he is, but with 40,000 followers, that's a bit of a shitty message to put out there. Usually I take that stuff as a joke, but I'm guessing he's got quite a few younger followers because anyone older who has been around bodybuilding long enough wouldn't source inspiration from that. Um, And he said, he said to that, like, to be honest, mate, I didn't even read the post. I just looked at the picture, which, you know, fair enough, but... I, 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 uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that I've, I've probably not worded, when we've talked about this kind of thing, and we do talk about it a lot, I've probably not worded it in the right light, because it is a hard subject to really talk about and not make it seem glamorised yeah. in a way, yeah. because they see the progress and they see everything that comes with it, like get doing well on stage and what not, but they don't see the shit that you have to part with after this is all done, potentially. The potential yeah, the, shit. The, the potential repercussions that can come with it. And yeah, it, it's it's really, if you are going to take, it's about, the message should be really taking control. Really take control of your health and what you're doing and what you're taking if you're going to take stuff. I mean, I'm bad. I'm bad. I, I always, like, I'll come on this podcast and I'll be like, Anadrol 50. And that's like enthusiastic towards taking steroids. But that's my that's personality and me being me, which I can't help. But I don't, I do. We also on here, I have you two guys who will say stuff like, like we went in and talked about health and how important health is. And that is something I do talk about health in my videos. Um, Cause I make sure that it is, it is, re- it is really important, you know, to make I sure that. I'm not just I guess putting myself into an early coffin. That's a good point. I don't know him, so I don't know his personality. So maybe it's got something to do with that. If someone said maybe the fun kind to me, though, do you know what I would think of? Cocaine and fucking weed. Because that's what... Like, I don't know about cocaine, but weed's fun. Weed's fun. It is. It's chills you the fuck out. <laughs> On drugs, kids. Wait, but this is why this is why I tried to this is why I tried to reiterate the importance of nutrition to people because everyone thinks that drugs do everything and it's not it's fucking it's the food bro yeah yeah I guess it just hit a nerve at a time when I saw it because anyone with such a short span of using PEDs has no place to talk about such things especially when they have so many young followers that they're influencing and it's fantastic to have a platform to influence these young people just use it correctly. And I think that's something we, we've often, without even thinking, probably not being clear, but at yeah. the end of every kind of statement... I don't know, man. I think we're pretty good. I think no, we're pretty I good. Say, I think if anyone says said. anything stupid... I think if any one of us ever say anything stupid, the other person would say, yo, don't say that, it's stupid. Yeah, I was about to say, we do clarify it at if we do say something at the end of it, you know, and we correct we each other and we all, you know, it's health. Yeah. yeah. We okay. definitely do. Um, I don't know. I think, I think maybe it's a, a more of a learning lesson of 
being more cognizant in the way you talk about these things. But I certainly think someone mm -hmm. in this position who's so young in the span of using these things has no right to talk about them. In my opinion. I think you've got, the, you've got the right to talk about them, but just be... I think everyone has the right to talk yeah. about something, but I think you need to word it specifically, especially if you have a large influence, because it's like you really have to think about the repercussions and the after effect of what you're about to say and how you put it across. Because a message can be put across in 10 different ways and be taken 10 different ways. Yeah, you I know just, what I mean? It's quite like, important, isn't it? Yeah, it's I feel very, like... Yeah. Back, there was no... There's been no like in between back in the days, not enough people talked about it, and now everyone talks about it, and not everyone who's in the right position talks about it. Um, I think it's I okay just think this industry is full of balance, if I'm honest. Yeah, I just I'm think that it's almost, <laughs> huh? yeah. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm a bell end, <laughs> you're a I'm good a bell end, <laughs> you're the I think good it's okay. I think it's okay to talk about it. Just Definitely. don't promote it. <clears throat> well, you can you can say like I am really I am guilty for cracking jokes about juice, but I'll always try and make sure I back up I, I back up uh, in along the video or what I'm saying. There's that. Look, 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 make sure like in my videos, there's me. I'm doing a cruise now. There's me. There'll be me doing doing the blood test. There's me taking my health ups. But when I go on cycle, I'm like, let's get juicy, right? Yeah. That's showing it in a glamorous light, but. Please take note of all the shit of health yeah. and everything that's involved in that. To be honest, I'll, I'll refrain my statement ah, in terms um, of the guy, the guy individually, because I don't know the guy, I don't know the context of how his personality works and talking mm. about it. But maybe it should be a lesson to everyone is these things aren't a joke. Yeah, that's probably the best thing, yeah. That is, it, it, isn't, it isn't a thing to fuck around with. Don't Definitely it, not. You, because there, there can be serious repercussions from this, like serious repercussions. So you got you got to remember that. Like you could take your first cycle and you could never have kids. That's yeah. very serious. Or just don't take a cycle thrilling. and have kids. And have kids, yeah. But you know, it, it, it is it's one of those ones. It's very serious. Like we know people, guys who have. I had a friend of mine who's, who's been on. It was, was on gear for six years straight. Said to me, Can't, "My sperm doesn't swim." Three months later, put his wife pregnant. Do you know what I mean? And he and, and he's he's got away with it, but there's very much someone in this world who's taken one cycle and they they've never been able to have kids. And that's someone that you know, there's people like that in the world. Their test levels have never came back. They've done one cycle, you know. Their, their body just shut off, and that's that's a very real thing that can happen. Um, yeah. But we all use well, these drugs, obviously, to for us for competitive purposes, and that's why we use them um, first and yeah. foremost. You know, I don't just go. Oh, I'm going to take I'm going to I'm going to take gear because I'm taking gear. I, I, I'm doing it because I, once I was like, yeah, I want to be a bodybuilder. <laughs> yeah, probably probably a good thing. Yeah. Not, but, not that I posted it, but that I brought it up. Just to yeah, confirm. just to clarify. Do you want to f finish it off because we've got less than one minute? Yep. All right, guys. Boys, I love you, but I've got to go. Okay, you've got to go. Yeah, it's two o'clock. I've got to go. I love you lots. See you later, all. Emotional. My legs are going to be on fire for the next three days. <laughs> All right. See you later, Dan. I've got to go.